guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you, you can create a uh, image for Halloween in Adobe Photoshop CC using 3D objects from pixelsquid.com. So guys, let's jump. As you can see, I have opened my image I would like to use. Um, today, this image will be my uh, background a layer. On the left uh, side of my screen, you can see that I have opened my uh, Pixel Squid library. I have many uh, Pixel Squid uh, libraries. I prefer to be organized. So we will start with holiday uh, library where I have few 3D uh, objects uh, from pixelsquid.com uh, I would like to work with today. So now I have only one a layer. It's a default a background layer with this image and I would like to add a dead a tree. So here you can see my dead tree uh, 3D object. To add any uh, 3D object from Pixel Squid library into your document simply click on your object and voila. Um, as you can see, I have um, this tree in my uh, document already, but I would like to modify it. First of all, I would like to um, uh, adjust rotation. So I will rotate it and I will reposition it just like this. I would like to have my tree behind um, all uh, headstones. Also, I would like to have my tree without a shadow, so I will uncheck shadow, but definitely, guys, I would like to have my uh, 3D object in high resolution. So I will switch from low to high resolution, just like this. Now, guys, um, I need to, um, as I said before, I need to move my tree behind headstones. Um, but I have on uh, those stones in my default layer. So I have highlighted my 3D object. I will add a layer mask. I will switch to my uh, simple brush tool with black color. I will increase size of my brush and I will paint out this part of my tree just like this. Nothing is too complicated. I will bring size of my brush down and I will continue erasing this part of my tree just like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As you notice, guys, I have one branch uh, leaning above my uh, headstone and I like it. It's kind of artistic effect. So now I have my tree behind the he headstone and Tree. My tree has different colors than my um, rest of my image. So what I will do, I will switch to adjustment um, library, adjustment panel, and I will click on um, exposure just like this. On the bottom of my uh, properties panel, I have add clipping mask icon. I will click on this um, icon and now I will apply adjustment, uh, exposure adjustment only to the layer below my adjustment layer. So what I will do, I will bring exposure down just like that and voila, perfect. I like it. Now guys, what I will do, I will be back to my pixel squid library. I will click add new just like this. And here I have very beautiful dead uh, flowers. I will click on them. I will rotate my 3D object just like this. Using a um, move tool, uh, I will bring size down just like that. Maybe. And I will reposition it just like this. Let me resize it more. Perfect. I will click OK to accept all changes. Definitely I would like to have shadows and definitely I would like to have my 3D object in high resolution. So I will switch from low to high resolution again. My beautiful, beautiful flower. Maybe I will move them close to headstone just like this. Yes, I like it more, more spooky. Now I will click add new and here I have another 3D object I would like to work with. I will click on this uh, bird <laughs> using um, a move tool. I will bring size down just like that. 
and I will reposition this bird on top of headstone, just like this. And I will click OK to accept all changes. So I would like to have shadows and I would like to have um, this 3D object in high resolution as well. So guys, uh, I'm pretty happy, uh, pretty much happy with my uh, entire composition. Um, I like everything. If you like, definitely you can add more 3D objects. It's up to you, but I like my image as it is now. Time to apply a few um, uh, touches, touches to uh, my composition and to my image. First of all, I would like to bring down um, exposure. I will click on adjustments. Here I have exposure adjustment. I will click on it and I will move slider um, slightly uh, to the left just like that perfect now i have kind of um darker uh scene and i like it maybe i will move my slider more perfect i will click um on adjustment adjustments again here i have color lookup adjustment i will click on it and from the drop down menu i will click on um night from day um, cube just like this perfect Guys, because I applied adjustment as a separate layer, I can adjust my adjustment layer at any time. So what I will do, I will bring down opacity of my um, adjustment layer just like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you like, guys, if for your taste it's too dark, simply click on exposure a layer, highlight this layer and bring down opacity of this layer just like that. Perfect. Now, guys, I would like to add some um, uh, candle flare into my image. I will highlight my uh, background layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to a uh, curvature pen tool in the options bar. Um, in, uh, I will specify pass, not a shape, guys, pass, and I will create a pass just like that perfect now maybe more now I will go to filter render and flame we have different flames we can apply to our um, pass uh, from the drop down menu you can choose many many different flames today I will be using candlelight flame you can adjust your flame in any way you want to example like this i will click ok and voila because guys i created flame using separate layer i can modify my uh, candle flame at any time first of all i will zoom in my image just like that and using free transform to, uh, I, i'm sorry using move tool i will bring size down of my uh, flame just like that and I will reposition it. I will click OK to accept all changes. Just like this. If you like, you can bring it down more and make it smaller. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let me zoom out. Definitely you can add more um, candle flames if you like, but I would like to have only one. It's more creepier. And now what I will do, guys, um, I decided to add a, a more uh, Pixel Squid uh, object, one more. So I will switch to Pixel Squid library. Let me scroll down and see where I have uh, this 3D object. I think I have it in a nature um, library. Yes, I have. Um, uh, object with a lot of birds what I will do I still have highlighted my uh, flame layer and I will click on um, any object with uh, birds example let's add this just like that I will bring down size for my object of my object just like that I will reposition them behind the tree 
maybe I will make them smaller. Yes, I will click OK to accept uh, all changes. I don't need shadows, but I need my 3D object in high resolution. So I will switch from low to high resolution. And voila, now I have very creepy and beautiful image. I will merge all layers or I will flatten image. It's up to you. I will duplicate this layer just to show to you before and after. I will go to filter, camera raw filter, and here I will apply a few adjustments to my image. First of all, I will bring down exposure slightly. I will increase contrast just like this. And I will bring down shadows and I will click OK. And let me show to you before and after camera raw filter. This is before and this is after. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you never used PixelSquid uh, objects from uh, PixelSquid.com, just go install your uh, plugin and start using um, amazing uh, 3D objects right away. So guys, thank you very much and I will see you later. Bye.